My name is Shalene Johnson and I'm a New York Times bestselling author of the book Push. I've also sold tens of millions of exercise DVDs. It's like crazy. So I hear from women all the time who struggle with like my inner thighs or how do I lose my belly fat or how do I get back in shape if I haven't exercised in 10 years. I hear from women who are in amazing shape and they're still dissatisfied, still feel like there's more work to be done in their bodies. And today I want to share with you some simple tips. Number one, to help you know you're like, you're, no, you're so normal, number one. But number two, how you can turn that around and improve the way you feel, your own body confidence, the way you feel about yourself. How to get in shape, how to lose cellulite, how to lose fat, how to flatten your tummy, how to get a six pack, how to tone your thighs. If you have searched for some of those answers, it's quite possible you're normal. And it's also very likely you're a woman. I don't know why it is, but we, we just struggle with this. If our bodies were better, we would be better, right? Like if, if we looked more perfect, things in our lives would be more perfect, we'd be more accepted, we'd be better, right? Or maybe we'd be happier. Well, I want you to know this. Your body does not define your value. In fact, what defines your value is what's inside of you. And I know you're like, well, that's great, but I still wish that my jeans weren't tight. Here's what I want you to understand. You are your best diet and fitness coach. So if you had all the money in the world to hire the very best diet and fitness coach, how would that work out for you if they were constantly with you and constantly giving you the motivation in your ear that you needed and they were encouraging you and they were pushing you? Don't you think you'd have a fighting shot? Don't you think you would make better decisions? Don't you think you'd believe in yourself and you would see that it was possible and you'd probably have some pretty incredible results? Well, consider the fact that the diet and fitness coach you have with you right now is you. And oftentimes what we're saying to ourselves the things we're saying to coach ourselves are so negative. You look disgusting. Oh, your pants are tight. Why can't you lose weight? Why have you failed again? We, we put ourselves down and we question ourselves and, we, and we, we beat ourselves up, you know? And so think about if your coach, you paid somebody to beat you up all day long. Why? You look fat. You look gross. You're a quitter. You always quit. I knew you were going to give in and have those chips and guacamole. Like if you had a coach who did that, you would be so worse off. Am I right? Of course. So the truth is, the one coach who's with you 24-7 in your head is you. In the beginning, you might not think these things, but you have to practice saying them. Whether you're writing them down on paper and you're putting them as the screensaver on your phone and writing them on post-it notes and putting them on your mirror, whatever it is, this messaging has to be more constant and it has to be more positive from you. Even if the first thought, which is really normal, the first thought's negative, you know, that, that happens. I hear people say like, just speak positively to yourself, which is great, but habitually we don't. I know, I do it too. But you have to get in the habit of hearing that negative thought, recognizing it as being not helpful. It's actually hurtful. Recognizing that what you've just said to yourself is hurtful, and it's probably not even the truth. You've probably blown it way out of proportion. Recognize it, know that it's okay you said it, and then switch it. Even if what you say to yourself you don't fully believe yet, over time you will. Say to yourself, I look pretty good. I'm actually pretty lucky that I have a body that can do these things for me. I'm far closer to what I want to be than I realize. Giving yourself per permission to look in the mirror and when you like what you see to accept it. You know, I, I talk to so many women who they, on a day when they look good, they look in the mirror and they go, well, it's probably not accurate. I just, you know, the mirror, what I'm seeing back in the mirror isn't the truth. And when, when I see something that looks, when I see myself and I feel overweight and ugly or unattractive, that's the truth. And when I see myself and I look pretty, I look beautiful, I'm happy with my progress, maybe the mirror's lying to me. Or maybe you're spending too much time focused on giving yourself negative feedback as the coach. You're, you're the coach of you. So if you want to succeed in your diet, and health and fitness, if you want to have a more positive, a more confident body image, you have to recognize that you've got to speak to yourself in a different way. You've got to catch yourself when you say something negative and you have to start to change the truth from your feelings. Like the truth is you're doing pretty darn good. The truth is you look amazing. The truth is you are healthy. The truth is your value is not measured in body fat. 
The truth is, your worth is not determined by the number on the scale. Because you and I both know some pretty nasty people who have low body fat and don't weigh very much. You know, they might look great, but are they good people? Your value is determined by what's inside of you. Nothing that's outside. It's not the car that you drive. It's not the size on the pair of jeans that you're wearing. It is how you treat others. It is what's inside of you. It is what God gave you as a gift. And you were chosen. You were chosen to be here. And you have to begin to treat yourself that way and to recognize those things if you're ever going to change your body confidence. Because when your body confidence changes, here's something you need to understand. When you feel differently about your body, when you believe in your body and you are praising it for what it's done for you and what it's doing for you every single day, your body's gonna start cooperating. Because right now, I'll just bet you're at war. And if you are, today's the day to end that war. So here's what I want you to do. Subscribe to my channel. I don't want you to miss any updates. I want to make sure that I can communicate with you and I'm reading your comments below this video. And, and let me know what things you're no longer going to say to yourself by replacing them with positive comments below this video. Okay, so he, again, don't list the negative. Write what you're going to start saying to yourself when you think about your body. And I'll see you next time.